Hi students, as a part of uh, the polymers, today I am going to explain you about uh, the preparation or synthesis of one of the rubber which is uh, thiacol rubber or it is also called as polysulfide rubber or it is also called as uh, GRP that is government polysulfide rubber. And uh, in all my videos uh, that is uh, the videos related to the preparation or synthesis of uh, any of the polymer uh, so I have informed you that uh, the most toughest job for uh, writing uh, the preparation or uh, synthesis of any of the rubber is uh, remembering uh, the monomeric units. So remembering the monomeric units is the very toughest job uh, during the preparation or synthesis of uh, any of the polymer. So in order to remember the monomeric units which are required for the preparation of this particular rubber, I have framed one sentence for you. If you really feel that this particular sentence will help you in remembering uh, the preparation or synthesis of this particular rubber, please follow this particular sentence. So the sentence is Department of Science and Technology. Department of Science and Technology. DST. Department of Science and Technology. So D stands for 1, 2 dichloroethane which is one of the monomeric units required for uh, uh, this particular uh, preparation. And uh, it stands for sodium polysulfide, which is another uh, monomeric unit which is uh, required for the preparation or synthesis of this particular uh, GRP rubber. And T stands for thiago. So with the help of this particular sentence, departments of science and technology, it is very easy to remember. Uh, the monomeric units which are required for the preparation or synthesis of this particular thiacol rubber. So, this stands for 1 2 dichloroethane. Now, the next uh, task is how to remember the structure of the monomeric units. Now, with the help of that particular sentence, we got uh, the two monomeric units which are required for the preparation of the thiacol rubber. Now, next task is how to get the structure of uh, this particular uh, monomeric units that is 1 2 dichloroethylene and uh, sodium polysulfide. Right. So, 1 2 dichloroethane, the name itself suggests ethane, it is the derivative of ethane. Now, what is ethane, students? Ethane is nothing but CH3 single bond CH3. CH3, 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 CH3 is ethane. Now, 1, 2 dichloroethane is obtained from the structure of ethane by replacing two hydrogens from two carbons of ethane by two chlorine atoms. Two hydrogens from two carbons of ethane by two chlorine atoms. So, just I am expanding the structure or elaborating the structure as CH2H, CH2H, so there is another one CH3, next CH2H. This our elaborated structure, the structure is one I say that is ethane only. Now, if this hydrogen is replaced by chlorine and this hydrogen is replaced by chlorine, then it becomes a 1, 2 dichloroethane. If it is replaced by chlorine and chlorine, then it becomes 1, 2 dichloroethane. So, why 1, 2? One, 2? One, two? Because this is linked to the first carbon and this is linked to the second. So, accordingly, the structure of uh, one of the monomer is CH2, CH2, Cl, next CH2, Cl, CH2, Cl. So, what is the name of this 1, 2, dichloro, dichloro, ethane. 1, 2, dichloroethane. So, why it is 1, 2, dichloro? Because 1 chlorine is attached to 
the first carbon and the second chlorine is attached to the second carbon. That is the reason it is called as one, two, that chlorine here. Yeah. Now, what is another monomer? What is another monomer? One another monomer is sodium polysulfide. Sodium polysulfide. Sodium polysulfide. And the structure of sodium polysulfide is Na S S N A. So it is also called as sodium disulfide or sodium polysulfide. So it is sodium. SOD stands for sodium polysulfide or disulfide polysulfide. Now, so see here in this 1 2 dichloroethane and uh, sodium polysulfide, there are uh, some leaving groups. That is, there are leaving groups, means there are some functional groups linked to it. So functional group that is uh, fluorine is linked to it and the sodium is linked to the sodium polysulfide. Now already we are well versed to that uh, the monomeric units containing uh, the leaving groups or functional groups undergo condensation or step growth polymerization. So accordingly these 1, 2 dichloroethane which is one of the monomeric units. And sodium polysulfide or disulfide, which is another monomeric unit, since they comprise the leaving groups or, or, or functional groups, they undergo condensation or step growth polymerization. Condensation or step growth polymerization. Condensation or step growth polymerization condensation or step growth polymerization. So n number of 1, 2 dichloroethane reacts with n number of molecules of sodium polysulfide. So both undergo condensation or step growth polymerization because these are the monomeric unit comprising the leaving groups or the function groups. So that is the reason they undergo the condensation or step growth polymerization. Now, students, by seeing the structure, it is very clear that, very clear that sodium chloride is being eliminated. Sodium chloride is being eliminated. So, we are well versed to that uh, during the condensation or step growth polymerization, some of the molecules are being eliminated. Some of the molecules are being eliminated and uh, the moieties which are going to be eliminated during this particular uh, polymerization between 1, 2 dichloroethane and uh, sodium polysulfide is sodium chloride. This n number of molecules of sodium chloride is being eliminated. Being eliminated. So that is, so Cl. Cl groups, that is Cl atom, chlorine atoms are um, removed from 1 to dichloroethane molecule and the sodium ions or, uh, or sodium atoms or sodium ions are uh, removed from sodium polysulfide. So, whatever the chlorine atoms or chloride ions which are being removed from 1 to dichloroethane which is one of the monomeric unit combines with the, the sodium ions of sodium polysulfide monomeric unit uh, and results in the formation of sodium chloride. Now the sodium chloride molecules are being eliminated and as it is the polymerization, n number of molecules of sodium chloride are being eliminated. Now, how to write the structure of the polymer? Right. So, you have to write the structure of the polymer in such a manner that the chlorine ion should not be a part of 1 to dichloroethane and sodium ions are a part of uh, sodium polysulfide. 
because these 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 all are being eliminated. So write down the structure of the polymer in such a manner that uh, chlorine chloride ions are not a part of one two dichloroethane. and sodium ions are not a part of sodium polysulfide because both are getting combined and they they are being uh, removed as sodium chloride so now what you need to do you have to write the structure of uh, the polymer in such a manner that uh, cl should not be the part of uh, this particular uh, 1 2 dichloroethane ch2 will be remain as it is this ch2 is remain as it is but chlorine atoms are combined uh, with the sodium ions now sodium ions are not a part of the sodium polysulfide in the thiopol rubber which is going to be resulted by the polymerization between 1 2 dichloroethane and sodium polysulfide so should not write sodium so what is left so sulfur next sulfur is left next sodium is being lost along with the, this chloride ion so finally we get this so this structure is nothing but the thiopol rubber or polysulfide or lonement polysulfide so it is very easy to write the structure of uh, the polymer once you know the structures of the monomer units right so this is about uh, the preparation or synthesis of uh, the thiopol or polysulfide or uh, gondamin polysulfide i hope you understood this thanks for watching